Hi, I'm Mayor Jerry Wires, and I'm here to explain Glendale's budget in the upcoming fiscal year. In order to help illustrate the gravity of our situation, I'm going to show how the general fund revenues compare with our general fund expenditures. In other words, we're going to talk about how the money the city brings in compares with the money that the city spends. First, let's talk about revenue. Now, that's the money that the city brings in. Think of it as the city's paycheck. Now, Glendale brings in money from four sources. The biggest source comes from local taxes. These are taxes that Glendale citizens and visitors pay. The bulk of this revenue comes from sales taxes. For illustrative purposes, this amount does not include our temporary sales tax, which is set to expire in about three and a half years. The next biggest source of money, Glendale, comes from uh, the state shared revenues. This is tax revenue collected from the state, from Glendale residents, and it's distributed to the city. The amount the city receives is determined by a formula set by the state. Another source of revenue for Glendale comes from fees. Now, these fees are from recreation programs, inspections, licenses, permits that are issued by the city. And lastly, the city receives money from other small sources such as administrative services provided to the city, utilities, and earnings on the city investments. Now, amounts in this category can include one-time monies. Clearly, local taxes and state shared revenues constitute the largest portion of our revenue. But together, all of these make up to $169 million. This is how much money the city has available. Now, on the other side of the table, we have our expenditures. Now, this is money that the city spends to maintain its operations and pay our bills. Now, we have two boxes here. We have the first one, which is our police. Uh, and our fire is the second box. Together they make up public safety. Together police and fire make up almost half of our general fund expenses. Now, I firmly believe that government's first and most important job is to protect its citizens and this budget accurately represents the public safety as the number one priority of our city council. Our next biggest expense is our debt. Now that's contractual obligations. In, in, in other words, it represents all the monies that the city owes from general fund and think of it like a, a credit card bill. It's large and you can't ignore it. Now, as you can see, public safety debt and, and expenses equal our two largest expenditures, and I haven't even introduced the other general fund departments. The biggest of these are, are parks, recreation, library department, along with neighborhood services department. Now, together, these make up about 8% of our general fund. Next, we have our public works and community development departments. Now these two departments make up about 7% of the budget. Next we have our contingency and capital outlay. Now think of that kind of like uh, kind of like the city's savings account for like a rainy day fund for emergencies. Now capital outlay includes costs for major projects and equipment. Together these two groups make up only about 4% of our budget. Uh, we also have our city court which handles an incredible amount of cases brought to them by the police and Glendale citizens. Now the court makes up about 2% of the budget and really is an extension of our public safety costs. And lastly we have the rest of our government. Now this includes other general fund departments. For example this box includes the mayor's office, the manager's office, the marketing department, the attorney's office, the clerk's office, the budget office and many others. All told our city government at its current size, it's going to cost about $200 million next year. But remember, we're only expected to bring in $169 million. As you can see, our budget is not balanced. Our expenditure side is much higher than the revenue side. In, in other words, we're spending a lot more money than we're bringing in. And further, we're required to have a balanced budget. In order to bring these two groups into balance, the city has three options. First, we can cut spending to match our income. However, the biggest expense is public safety and, and debt and simply cannot be changed without risking the safety of our public or defaulting on, on our obligations. Any cuts would have to come from these departments at the very top. Given that Glendale's government has already made many cuts to every department, the next step making cuts could be either eliminating or privatizing the entire functions of government. As you can see, small cuts alone simply won't do the job. Secondly, we can increase our revenue. In, in other words, the city could raise taxes to meet our obligations. To use sales tax as an example, the city would need, would need to increase our sales tax by a full cent just to close that gap. And third, we could do a combination of options one and two. 
Now I know decisions will not be easy, but with your help, we can get Glendale back on solid ground. The council and myself are working diligently to ensure Glendale's future. Please hang in there with us. We're, we're in it for the long haul.